Hey, Denon High School, this is Mr. Aiden here. Um, we're going to be taking a look at a full projectile motion problem again, but we're going to look at it in a different way. We've been given the height of 10 meters, we've been given the range of 20 meters, but we're going to be solving for that velocity that he initially, that baseball initially got rocketed off into the air, and we're going to take a look for the angle as well. That's what we're going to be trying to find, which means, again, we want to split things up into x, and we want to split things up into y. What do we know about the x? I know the range, which is the displacement in the x, which is 20 meters. What do I know of in the y? I know the height, or the displacement in the y, is 10 meters. Now the only equation we know in the x direction is vx is equal to dx over t. And I don't know anything about the velocity in the x, I don't know anything about the time. The only thing I know is my displacement in my x is 20 meters. And so I'm going to have to find that time using my y. Now I do have an equation in my y, I have the displacement in the y is equal to vit plus 1 half gt squared or at squared. And then again, in these full projectile motion problems, my y, I'm going to look at just half of the time. And so to find my half of my time, my height, my displacement of my y is going to be 10. My velocity initial is going to be 0, and we have 1 half, gravity is 9.8, and my time is going to be squared. When I do that calculation, I end up finding my time to be 1.43 seconds. But that is only half of the time which means the full time that it's in the air, the whole time that it's in the air, is going to be double that time, or 2.86 seconds. Now, there's something else I can find out in my y direction, and that is my velocity in my y. Not only the final velocity, but also the initial velocity at the very, very start of the problem. So let's use our vf is equal to vi plus at. Now, again, we're going to be using the second half of the parabola. And so my VF is what I'm trying to find. My VI, of course, is 0. My acceleration is 9.8. And again, for the Y, we're going to always going to be using half of the time. And so my time is 1.43 seconds, which gives us my velocity final in my Y, which is also the velocity initial at the beginning of the problem in my Y, to be approximately 14 meters per second. Now let's come back over to my X. Now remember the x, we're using the full range here, so we're going to use the full time. And so we're going to have 20 meters for the dx over the full time of 2.86 seconds, which will give me my velocity of my x when I divide these two to be approximately 7 meters per second. Now something we've got to remember is the velocity in the x never changes. We have a constant velocity. Velocity in the y changes, however. Initially, my velocity of my y is 14 meters per second. When the ball comes back down to the ground, the, my velocity of my y again is 14 meters per second. So if we draw just a quick triangle here, our velocity in the x is 7 meters per second. Our velocity in the y is a little bit bigger at the start, which is 14 meters per second. And you can see that gives us a resultant vector. And so how do I find this resultant vector? Well, I have to use my vx squared plus vy squared equals my vr squared, which is the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to do 7 squared plus 14 squared, and I'm going to end up square rooting both of those to find my velocity in my r, and my resultant velocity for this vector is 15.65 meters per second. Now if I want to find my angle, the angle, I'm going to use the tangent of theta. And tangent of theta always equals my y, my vy, over my x, my vx. And when I end up doing that, to find my angle, I'm going to do the inverse tangent, or arc tangent, of 14 over 7. And I end up finding the angle to be 63.4 degrees. And so my vr, or my resultant velocity, is going to be 15.65 meters per second. And that's going to be traveling at an angle of 63.4 degrees.
And this is how we do one of these full projectile problems, Donellan. Hope this helped, and uh, this is Mr. Aiden, signing off. Thank you.